Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and I would like to just start off this episode. We're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Everybody's doing it wrong, or at least insert a question mark at the end of that. Um, we could be doing it wrong. We might be doing it wrong. We might not be doing it wrong, but I'm talking about Dodo Kibble. Yeah. Dodo Kibble. I know that sounds weird, that sounds funky, but I'm pretty sure we're doing it wrong. Because let's look at the facts here, alright? Alright, okay. Okay, now, I think the Ark may have messed up with something. Wildcard may have done something wrong. Because how is Dodo Kibble going to tame a Dillo? Because here, let me come down in here and let's talk about recipes. Let's talk about food facts here just one second. Alright, now, this right here, this is an old outdated recipe. But, here, handy dandy laser pointer, Dodo Kibble, right there, right? Tame, it's, it, the old recipe was Dodo Egg, Carrots, and Meat, with measure berries and fiber. Right, I'm, I mean, how big of a noob does Wildcard think we are? Feeding carrots and measure berries to a Dillo? How is that gonna work? How is that ever gonna work? We're doing it wrong. Everybody's doing it wrong. You've been lied to everybody, all right? So you know what? I think we need to, for science, break down exactly how a Dodo Kibble works. I don't think it does work. I don't think it should work. It should not work in the way that it does in Ark Survival Evolved. Because, come on, let's face it, none of this stuff would be feasible at all. Let's do this. All right, so now we need to break everything down to the most scientifically scientific, sciencey bits and morsels so where we can just tear down some walls and we can get some logic here. All right, so bear with me for a sec because we've got to find some scientific ways of doing this. And I think the best way to do this, <gasps> I got it. I got it. This is how we're going to scientifically do it. Mm, dodo kibble, dodo kibble. Small egg. Dodo. This is not how you do this. All right, the wiki is wrong. Oh my gosh, the wiki is totally wrong. All right, well, hey, let's get started on this. All right, so the recipe requires for a dodo egg. And let's be as scientific about this as possible. Hmm. Dodo, chicken. Dodo, chicken. Dodo. Well, they look close enough. Yeah, I think we nailed it. Science achieved. All right, looking up for some more uh, real life comparisons. I think we might have nailed it. See, Measureberry, Measureberry. I think we nailed it. Measureberry. Yeah, how can you get more Measureberry than this? Yeah, even that one right there is slightly purple. Come on. Yeah, I think we nailed this one. And again, the hits just keep on coming. Yeah, I've been searching, I've been scouring the internet, and I think we completely found this. So, yes, we are well on our way to actually making the true way of doing kibble. Because, yeah, in-game, I don't think that's going to work. So, yeah. All right, the real-world equivalents, they just keep coming. Yeah, they just can't be stopped at this point. Yeah, we're definitely going to find out exactly how to make this stuff. This is the real way of how to do this. All right? Message. All right. Journey continues. Cooked meat. Enough said. After doing some serious browsing, I figured out exactly uh, what could be uh, the best equivalent of fiber. And no, it's not straw. Because after doing a bunch of scientific research... I found out that celery has some of the best amounts of fiber. If you want to poop, this is what you eat. So we're going with that. All right, now to verify this recipe, let's start off with the fiber. Now, the best guess, celery. That was our fiber. 
It's only two. Don't worry. Give me a sec. Five fiber. That'll work. Set that off to the side. All right, now we have to carefully plan out our ingredients. Five mezzo berries. Perfect. Ten tinto berries. Now, you may notice that we're not using the cranberries that we had sci so scientifically proven to be accurate, but I realized suddenly that cranberries aren't in season at this time of year. So we're not gonna be a cranberry scrub. We're gonna be the Alpha Tribe Raspberry. That's why we're going raspberry. Always go raspberry. Next, Amar berries. 10 Amar berries. There we go. One cooked meat. One water. And finally, one scientifically proven dodo egg. Scientific, it has to be true. All right, now you may ask, what do we do with these? Well, that's the problem, all right? Just like any arch survivor, we're gonna have a mortar and pestle in our pocket. But since I forgot to craft one, here we go. If you don't have a mortar and pestle in your pocket, just go ahead and craft yourself up a handy dandy food processor. Every growing arc survivor needs a handy dandy food processor. Raptor out of the shot. Stupid raptors. All right, so let's scientifically um, do this. All right, so we've got Amar berries, 10. We've got our Alpha Tribe Raspberries, 10. We've got our five measure berries. We've got our cooked meat. And to make this process easier, let's hack this little sucker up, throw that on in there. One egg for binding. Load up our food processor. And slowly incorporate the fiber and water. Now, it only says one water. This is five fiber. This is a lot more than one water. I think. I don't know. Let's be scientific about this. All right, once the contents are carefully ground up to a pulp, then we'll take and we'll spoon everything out into kibble-sized bits, and then I think we're going to bake it, because it says that you have to cook it after it's done. So I think that's how we're going to have to do this. Let's do it. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and let's get that sucker in there. Wait, mm -mm, good. All right, so we finally finished our scientific journey on whether or not the dodo kibble is actually dodo kibble. If that is the true recipe for dodo kibble. Now, is it the true recipe for dodo kibble? Well, there's only one way to find out. I mean, I've got dodo kibble right here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, yeah. You didn't think that I'd stop there, all right? Come on, that's not the way this is gonna work. Come on, cause see, look, this is what one recipe of dodo kibble gives you. Three dodo kibble, all right? So, scientifically, the recipe isn't exactly accurate. I mean, I put the piles exactly the way they look in the screenshot in here. Well, maybe, actually, you know what? That might be a little bit bigger. I don't know, but you know what? Can these things tame a Dillo?
That'll tame a jello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hey, I hope this video helped you out. All right. I hope that, uh, yeah. I hope the video helps you out in your, in your Dodo Kibble adventure. Wow. The aftertaste is actually pretty good. Yeah, needs a little bit more garlic. Maybe a dash of feta cheese. All right, Arc Devs, feta cheese, maybe a little bit of garlic. Come on. Being the Dodo is really weird, but hey, I hope this video helped you out. I hope you liked the video. If you do, make sure you give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you're new around here, subscribe. And if you want to take a look at other uh, um, April Fool's videos that I've done um, before in the past, yeah, I'll post some links here. Maybe, maybe up in the left and maybe up in the right. Maybe one of those. <laughs> All right, until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everybody.